What's up everybody? It's season six. Five seasons ago I started playing Fortnite. I played literally like the first week of release of Fortnite Battle Royale. So much has changed. This game is insanely different from when it started. Everything that you know we know from the beginning has changed a lot. Like there's guns that have been vaulted, new guns have been brought in, in and all that. But that's really not what this video is gonna be about. This video is gonna be about like my account. I've had this game since the first week of release. I play on PS4 and um, they just came out with custom controller binding. I think that's how you say it. And I just made my own controls, but I've always played on old school. I've never played on Combat Pro, Builder Pro, anything like that. I've always played on old school since day one. And um, now I have my own controls where, you know, L1 and R1 make me switch between guns instead of just triangle. But my building is the same, it's just triangle. And, um, you know, it's it's crazy. It's like, finally, I can play how I want in Season 6. And Season 6 is definitely either the first or the second best season because Season 1 was amazing. But if you really look back on it, it was buggy, it was laggy, it wasn't, like, super amazing. So this season, Season 6, is very balanced. There's a little bit of bugs, as you can see right there, the gold-bound outfits issue, which I really want one of those, one of those gold-bound outfits. Anyways... You know, season six has just begun pretty much. It's only been out for like six days. Uh, tomorrow will be week two. And uh, as you can see, I'm tier 28. And I'm just going to showcase my account. I'm just going to show you what skins I got. I'm going to show you what axes and gliders and all that that I have since season one. Because I know a lot of people have started playing around March. And um, some people even started this summer. And, uh, you know, they really didn't see... A lot of the things that happened in season one so i'm gonna show you guys what's in my locker and uh all that kind of stuff and i'm gonna show you my stats uh i do not have a life i've played like hundreds of hours in every single game mode so yeah here we go so in the locker obviously i set it all to empty so it's a little bit more of a surprise uh we got that banner that ghost banner and um i think first we're gonna get into my contrails so for contrails, I have all-star, bubbles, I pretty much have every contrail that you can get from the seasons. So, you know, exhaust, this is a new one. This one's pretty cool. It looks a little bit out of place, but, you know, it's cool. Flames, glitch in the system, hearts, spray paint, that one's still pretty cool. Shooting star, that one's awesome. Runic, that's pretty cool. I haven't really used that, though. Uh, retro sci-fi, I really, I really haven't used that one. Rainbow, lightning, lanterns, ice crystals, TP, I use that, but it looks a little bit buggy. It doesn't really look right, so I don't use that one that much. Uh, Ultramarine, that's pretty cool, but um, not that cool. <laughs> All-Star, yeah, I already showed you. Bubbles, yeah. And yeah, Exhaust looks pretty cool. I like it. So yeah, uh, I have all the ones that you get from the seasons, basically. And then, let's go over to gliders now. So I do have a lot of gliders. So I... You know, the first thing I'll show you. So this is a victory in Season 4. If you got a victory in Season 4, you received this umbrella right here. And uh, this is the Season 6 umbrella right here, if you get a win in Season 6. This is the first umbrella. This is the umbrella you get if you win a game. You had to win a game when you, like, in the first, like, couple months of release, this was, like, what you would get if you won a game, is this umbrella. This is uh, during the Christmas update. You would get this. Uh, win in Season 3. That's what that looked like. And then this is the original glider. This is what everyone still has. Everyone gets this when they enter the game and stuff. And this is also a Season 5 glider. Uh, season 5 was such a weird season. I really did not like it. It was pretty boring. And then uh, I got Warthog. This is an old glider. And most of these gliders I got when they first came out. I can get them like the second time around if they did come out for a second time. So, yeah, I'm going to show you some more. So, this is uh, part of the Fortnite set. You had to have the game in Season 2, I believe, in order to get this glider right here. This is Royale X. I actually don't even know what that's from. I think it's from Season 3, maybe. This is a new glider called the Picnic Glider. Uh, this is a Season 6 glider. This is the Mako. This is like one of the most legendary gliders because this came out... I don't remember exactly why they gave us this glider, but if you had the game in like the first month or two, I don't remember when really, but like you had to be an OG player, and uh, 
yeah, you would get this. This is one of the gliders they gave us because of some type of bug or just for some reason. I don't really know why they did it, but yeah, we got this glider out of that. Got the mainframe. This is pretty cool. I got this um, also when it first came out, but I didn't get Circuit Breaker quite yet because uh, I believe it comes out with Circuit Breaker. Hot Rod, really, really, really OG glider. I got this when it first came out. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's a pretty cool glider. Downshift, uh, this is not that old. A lot of people still have this. It's a cool glider. It's uh, It just looks pretty simple, and I like simple. Cruiser, uh, I think this is a season five glider. Could be wrong. Crossfire, this is a new glider. This is nice. It's pretty simple. I haven't even used it yet, though. Carbon, um, this is also pretty old. Aerial Assault 1, this is a super old glider. Like, I don't know if this has come in the shop yet, or came in the shop yet, since it came out for the first time, but this is really, really old. And then, Sugar Crash, I believe that's a Season 4 glider. Rainbow Rider, I got this when I first bought the Bright Set. Uh, I think I bought this the second time around. Or no, this comes with the battle pass. I think so. I don't know. I think it came with the battle pass. Prismatic. I got this when it uh, came out for like the third time, and that was like only that was in like November of uh, 2017. Feathered Flyer. I got this the day that Raven came out. Super nice glider. One of my favorites. Blue Streak. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a part of a PS4 set. It could be. I, I might be wrong. I hate this glider right here, it's super loud, it's super big. Wings of Valor, pretty cool looking, but it's too big. Splashdown, I like this one, it's also really big, but it's just a little bit more creative and cool, I like this. Intrepid, super annoying glider, never really use it. High Octane, pretty nice. Get Down, super old, you had to have Season 2, this comes with Sparkle Specialist. Uh, I don't really like this glider that much. It's kind of funny, but you know, it just looks weird. And then Cloud Strike, I got this when it first came out. It's a, like a lightning glider. It's super cool. It's came out in the shop a couple of times. Okay. <clears throat> so next we got the pickaxes or the harvesting tools. So I got that standard one. Then I got the tactical spade, the elite cleat, throttle, smash up, which is a season six pickaxe. I, I call them pickaxes, but they're called harvesting tools. I'll try to call them harvesting tools. We got the sawtooth. I don't know what season that is. I think that's season three. Uh, whatever season Rush Lord is in. Pulse axe. Uh, Positron. Is, is that how you said it? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, Lug axe. It's pretty cool. Lollipopper. I use that a lot during season three. Gale Force. It's cool. Balloon Axe, it's funny. I like this one. I actually would use this again. Axe Caliber, I use this I use this all the time. Axe Caliber is super cool. This came out also in like season two. Trusty number two. It's pretty cool. It's a little bit small though. Rift Rift Edge, probably the best thing you can even get in season five. Rainbow Smash, pretty awesome. One of the coolest. Permafrost, really cool axe. I love that. Onslaught, also cool. Eva is just an OG one, that's the only reason it's cool. And ACDC is one of my favorites too. This one's also a season two. Back blings. Okay, I got quite a few back blings. I got the Black Shield, the Bright Bag, Dark Matter, Frozen Shroud, Iron Cage, Off World Rig, Catalyst, Bonesy, he's new. He's just came, he just came out in season six. Bogey Bag, Blue Shift, Blasting Cap, Astro, Subjugator, Raptor Satchel, Fabled Cape, Goodie Bag, Pool Party, Rear Guard, Rust Bucket, Swag Bag, Uplink, Birthday Cake, and then we gotta go over here, Precision, Road, road Flare, and then these are some, uh, I really don't get what's different about these at all really, there's really no difference, I think one just, yeah, I don't know, but those are old and then standard issue uh, For emotes I have tons I have like old emotes electro shuffle fresh star power Just got this 
this is new twist I love breakdown you know we got the robot that's a season 3 95 tier 95 dance sorry groove jam that's a lot that's season 4 yeah season 4 I have tons guys I'm not gonna go through all these but I have a lot well I do have the Ride the Pony, that's very old. The Worm, also very old. Season 1 or 2, maybe. Take the L. Definitely an iconic one. Just really cool dances. And I have like all these emotes. And of course, dance moves. Waterworks, I love that. Waves, pretty funny when you kill somebody. Slow claps, just beautiful. Rock, paper, scissors. Respect, salute, all those old things. Oh, jubilation, of course. Okay. So, um, what else? I have like every loading screen in Fortnite, of course. Most people do if you had the game since day one. Have all of them. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, now on to my outfits. So these are outfits from season one all the way up. I don't have like a ton, okay? I don't buy everything. I'm not rich. I don't sit there and spend a ton of money on V-Bucks. But I do have quite a lot. I do have the two rarest skins in the game, I believe. They might be the two rarest. Maybe. I could be wrong, okay? And um, yeah, we're going to check it out. So let's go down straight to the bottom, actually. So we're going to start right off with Royale Knight. This is a season 2 body. This is so old. Like, oh my god. This is really old, guys. Super old. Munitions Expert. I love this body. It's uh, simple and it's cool looking. Circuit Breaker. Pretty cool body. Chopper. I just recently got this when it came out in the shop for the first time. Blue Team Leader. You had to um, buy a PS4 exclusive pack or something well you didn't have to buy it, it was free and you got this body with it uh, blue squire goes with uh, royal knight over here got zoe cool body but uh, no one really uses it anymore it was pretty cool when it first came out though that was what everyone was pretty hyped for got the wingman that's a starter pack skin the ace is also a starter pack skin they're pretty cool I mean this one doesn't make you as look as newbie as uh, the wingman Technique, that was cool when it first came out. Now no one uses it because it looks stupid. Sunstrider, kind of too simple. Squad Leader, Sledgehammer, Rust Lord. I remember everyone was excited to get this body. Like, everyone thought it was the coolest thing. Now it's like, if you see this body, it's like definitely hardcore, like, noob looking guy. Like, I don't know, it's weird. We got the Rook, Rogue Agent, Red Line. Moonwalker, that's a season 3 um, body. This is very old. Mission Specialist, this body's so stupid, but it's so old. It's cool. Only because it's old. Other than that, it's a terrible body, but <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Huntress, never really used her. She looks alright. Giddy Up, this is a new season 6 body. It's pretty funny. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's a. Uh, it took up like a skin in season 6 rather than like a cool skin they put in this skin I'd rather this be like something you could buy in the shop for like I don't know 800 V-Bucks Fireworks Team Leader I got this on the 4th of July that's the only time it's came out I believe it might have came out one more time I don't know Elite Agent super old body still cool DJ Yonder very new body and it's uh, cool but it's gonna be a new body you're gonna see that in like season 7 and you're gonna think that's a noob instantly Bright Gunner. This is so old. This came out a long time ago, but it has came in the shop a couple of more times. I think I bought this the second time it came in the shop. Blue Striker is also another PS4 exclusive body. You can only get it if you have a PS4. Battlehawk is just a terrible body, guys. No one uses this. Valor, also terrible. The Visitor, pretty terrible. The Reaper. John Wick, pretty cool body. Iconic Raptor. This is C Day's body, so you know I don't wear it just because of him. I'm just kidding. I actually really like this body. Ragnarok. I got full level Ragnarok. 
Oops. Yep, full level Ragnarok. Uh, it looked really cool at first, but now it's like, eh, it's cool, but it's not like the best body. We got Omega. I did not actually fully level up Omega, which is pretty sad. Yeah, you had to reach level 80 in season four, so I didn't get that. Sadly, I was at, I was literally at level 79 and uh, forgot that the season was gonna end the next day and didn't play overnight to get level 80. So yeah, pretty, pretty sad. We got Enforcer, this is the season five. Yeah, season five, week seven body. Drift, I got him fully upgraded. He was cool, now he looks like a new body. I don't know why I keep pressing circle. Dark Voyager, uh, that's an awesome body, honestly. The head's a little big, but it's a pretty awesome body. Carbide, got that fully maxed, I think, yep. Make it any color I want. This is new Calamity, she's gonna look so cool when she's fully leveled up, let me my thing is being very slow but look at this look at this body it's gonna be so cool when it's fully leveled up whiplash I just actually got this body recently even though it came out a long time ago I think it's so cool it's so simple but I like it a lot bright bomber I got her when she first came out so cool <laughs> it's just it's just such a fun body now for like the good row. This is a uh, iconic row right here, okay? This is probably the rarest skin in the game. I know it's not like exciting, it doesn't look insane, but it's super, super rare. Like this is really rare, guys. Aerial Assault Trooper is so rare. I got this the day it came out because I saw a streamer using this and I was like, wow, streamer's using this? It must be a cool body. So I bought it and um, I didn't even like it that much, but it it's pretty cool now. I mean, it's old, super old. It's only came out in the shop once, I believe. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really old body, guys. Then we got Sparkle Specialist. Look at this. This is so old. This is season two. I always have loved this body. I still use it to this day. It's so cool. It just looks nice. And then, uh, we got the big boy right here, guys. The If this guy comes back in the game, I'm going to be totally, like, so mad. You don't understand, guys. I'm just going to take... I made this video basically just to prove that I had this skin before it came out for a second time because it only came out in the shop once or twice actually it came out in the shop twice and um it's super rare skull trooper none of my friends have him I'm like the only one so I feel you know pretty cool but then if this if this skin comes out one more time it's gonna be just like the red knight and it's going to be overused, and it's going to become super dumb looking. So why would they add it back? Just keep it like this. Keep it old and rare. Because this is so cool. It's such a nice body. We got Raven. Raven's came out in the shop a couple times. It's still kind of a rare body. A lot of people don't have it. But it's such a nice body all, right, all the way. All around. And then Crack Shot. This is so old, guys. This is a season two i don't know actually but it did come out during december the winter update and it's crack shot scary legendary it's awesome it's old it's og and then we got black knight season two tier 70 actually that's when the season ended in season two is tier 70 not tier 100 like we all know it as now so that's cool this is a uh, probably one of the nicest like looking bodies in the game it's so cool but yeah this is the best row I have a lot of bodies been playing since season one pretty much the first week of release and they just added a music feature so I don't have that annoying music this music right here yeah, I don't have that playing anymore. I have this, you know, upbeat, squeaky clean. And I think we all know that we love that they added the OG Fortnite music right here. It's so good, guys. This is what you used to turn on the game and come into. This was the music. It's so cool. 
It brings back memories, guys. It brings back memories. <laughs> All right. So now I'm gonna show you guys uh, my my stats, and they're not amazing, but they're really good. But they're nothing like Ninja or some other tryhard streamers that have thousands of wins. I'm not saying I'm insane. I just have a good amount of wins. Okay. So in solos, I have 97 wins, 449 places in top 10. 788 places in top 25 that's pretty crazy that's a lot of times to get in the top 10 of the top 25 I have 2,974 eliminations 1,639 um, games played and then time played 109 hours and 4 minutes just on this um, solos just on solos my account level is 396 if you can see that on the bottom right I mean bottom left sorry on the bottom left it says I'm like my account level is 396 that's a really high level boys duos 56 wins 240 places in top 5 530 places in top 12 and uh, 2424 eliminations 1494 matches played and time played 58 hours 48 minutes I don't do is my least played 78 wins in squads places in top 10 or top 3 180 in squads places in top 6 292 in squads eliminations 100 100 what <laughs> eliminations in squads 1797 matches played 1082 and time played 92 hours 38 minutes so uh, my most impressive is definitely my um, my solos. I play solos all the time. I'm creeping up on 3,000 kills, and I'm really close to 100 wins in solos. So that's awesome. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for my account. Super OG account. I've been playing since like day one. So let's just put on Skull Trooper and then put on the cape. Oh yeah, see that looks dope, guys. And then we're gonna put. ACDC and Feathered Flyer, get the Lightning Contrail. I know a lot of people want this body, it's super rare. dance that I really want is uh, tidy I want that one really bad and then our loading screen I for some reason use the most random one it's this one right here I love this loading screen so yeah guys that's my account that this is season 6 I've been playing since season 1 the early days I got skull trooper guys I really wish I had uh, ghoul trooper Please do not bring it back in the game. I think that's, I'm just begging you guys. Please don't bring it back in the game. And, uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, if you want to play, add me. You can see my name right there, rockbottom58. And I will accept friend requests. I will play with anybody. And, uh, yeah, I'm tier 28. And who knows, I might be making a video in the future. And this video will be, like, super OG compared to that one. So, um... Leave a like for season 6, leave a like for the OG account, and leave a like for Skull Trooper. And, um, I really don't know what else to say, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, add me. So I'm gonna end off this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.